it's now time to create our first model and the model that we're going to be creating and the only model that we're going to be creating is a link model this is going to represent our links table and that way that we that way what we can do is add methods to this class that we're going to be building if we need to uh, or just use it as a simple way to pull in the data that we need so let's create the model then we will look at PSR for auto loading which I'll explain and then we will look at an example of pulling in this record here using our new model so it's not as difficult as it does sound so inside of app then we are going to first of all namespace our uh, application files and by this I mean I'm going to create a directory that represents either the name of the site or my name just so we can keep everything under one folder and that will help with PSR for auto loading as well so it's simple as creating a directory inside of app and this should be capitalized as well like this so inside of this folder then I'm going to create a models directory which are going to store all of my models you can structure this uh, in a different way if your application grows larger but for now I'm just going to create a models directory because we're only going to have one file in here for now and that file is link.php now notice I'm calling it link and not links as per our database table name and that's just convention so let's save this out so inside of here what we want to do is namespace this file and by namespacing I mean grouping it under a specific name uh, and the name is going to replicate the structure of this uh, shorty directory uh, down all the way down to link and that means that we can auto load in these files and all that means is we don't have to keep requiring in all of the new files we create within this shorty directory that's pretty much the reason that we're doing this so let's namespace this under shorty with the capital S models and that's all we need to do so the class name is link and that's it so how is this going to work well over on start.php let's quickly create an example root again so let's say app get forward slash we'll have our callback here and let's try and instantiate link let's create a new instance of this link model so to do that we need to use shorty models link much like we've done for our dependencies and then in here we can say link equals new link uh, we can omit the parenthesis now this should work because we have the file existing here namespaced under shorty models here we're importing shorty models and link this is the class name and then we're creating a new instance of this class but this isn't going to work if we refresh uh, and turn errors on so just temporarily we'll just set display errors to on and refresh uh, it says here fatal error class shorty models link not found and the reason for this is we're not actually including this file anywhere but we don't want to do that because that means for any other file that we create we're going to have to include this file so we're going to utilize composer to auto load our files for us and because remember we're including this auto load.php file here to pull in our dependencies that will also pull in all of the files within our shorty namespace as well so under composer.json just up here we're going to create an auto load property and let's pull this down and inside of here we're going to choose to psr for auto load that's another object there and in here we specify first of all the uh, top level namespace which is shorty and then we do two forward slashes because we need one forward slash there but it invalidates the JSON otherwise so we need two and then we're going to choose the uh, location of where this shorty uh, directory or namespace structure starts and that is app forward slash shorty so it's app forward slash shorty and all that's going to do is it's going to load in any files that we create under this shorty directory as long as they follow the namespacing convention so shorty is the outer directory models is this directory and link here is this class 
So we can't really uh, just do this and refresh. It's not going to work. We need to dump our auto loader. And we only need to do this once because then it will know where to look for these files. So all we do is we say dump, uh, composer dump auto load and we pass the optimized flags. That's a lowercase o. And that has generated uh, generated optimized auto load files. And when we refresh, we get no error. And that means that uh, this link here has been instantiated properly. Now, we're obviously not going to be doing this, but let's take an example, uh, look at an example of reading this record from our database. So our model here isn't quite set up to use Eloquent. What we need to do is extend Eloquent so we can take all of the functionality from it. It will connect us up with that table and we can pull in records. So all we need to do here is extend Eloquent. But Eloquent uh, cannot be found in here because it's not namespaced under models. So we need to import this namespace. And this is Illuminate Database Eloquent Models. And we're going to call that Eloquent. So we're calling this models uh, class here Eloquent. And we're just extending it here. So there's a couple of things we want to define in here. We want to define the table that we're working with. This will automatically detect, as long as you have link, it will look for a links with an S on the end table. But I'm gonna do this manually because sometimes when you're using eloquent models, your database table name is going to be different. And we also now want to define the fields that we're allowed to fill. And this is to uh, basically control mass assignment. So we want URL, code so they're the two fields here that we want to fill if you add any other more any other fields you may need to add them in here depending on how you're creating new records or updating them so this is done what we can now do inside of start is actually start to use eloquence functionality so what we do here then is we say link and we can now start to build up a query with methods to pull in this record and it's as easy as this so we say link where and then here what we can do is we can say where url equals something so we can say where url and then paste that in as a string if we wanted to and we will eventually be doing this uh, you can do this as well but if you're uh, checking for equals you can just do two comma separated values. And then we use first to pull back that record. So let's assign this to link. And then let's do a var dump on link and see what we get back. So when, when I refresh here, we have an error. So let's just check this out. Uh, there we go. So it's model. Uh, it's not models. So let's refresh. And there we go. So we get this. Uh, link object back and it gives us all of this uh, data in just in here and this does look a little bit confusing it looks like there's you know a ton of data where's all this data coming from because we are using models it's pulling back all of the functionality uh, that we have on our model as well so for example we could add a method in here like public function get URL for example and that could return this URL and all URL is is the field name or the column name in your database table so that's why we're getting all that sort of it, what looks like gibberish back but if we use something like get this is going to pull back the following so it will pull back a collection of items this now has link in there and then we can iterate through them if we wanted if we had multiple records um, it may not make too much sense at the moment but when it comes down to it and when we're actually uh, working with this within our link generation it will make a lot more sense so before we go on to the next part which we're actually going to be creating our roots let's get rid of this example root let's pull out this here because we don't need this dependency in there and let's leave uh, our temporary uh, php ini display errors setting on just so if we do get any more errors we can see what's going on here so at the current state we have no roots at all but we do have our database connection set up. We've created our first and only model, uh, which is link, which is gonna assist us in uh, creating links, pulling back links and doing things like that. And uh, we can obviously access our application and everything 
is looking good. But now we need to actually create the root so we can start to uh, show the default home page, which is just going to be nothing, actually redirect a user to a link from a short link. And then eventually we're going to generate links uh, using the API that we're going to be building, uh, essentially just a, a route that we're going to be hitting uh, via a REST client. So let's get on in the next part with creating these routes then, and then we'll go on to the more fun stuff.